is somewhere behind here. He was playing on a tree, and that's where that clown came and attacked him with a knife. Creepy clown staring at a local family as they eat dinner in their home. Just the latest in a rash of sightings from the south bay to the north county. Yo, Patrick, he has a knife. Dude, what the... Just when we thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, the clowns are back again. We've got some pretty terrifying clowns on this list, so let's get right into it. Starting off this countdown, we have... No, go, 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 go! Yo, this guy's on a cliff. Two of them. Fast. They're just like... These guys right are then. moving fast. These guys have wow. been going to the Michael Myers School of Murder for sure. <laughs> They've been taking notes. You gotta be like. <laughs> They're speedy. First Man. rule of murdering people: cardio. That's yeah. the number one oh, rule. You true. gotta have sick cardio because you gotta be I able to. I never thought bomb. of that, dude. Stabbing and running. It's yeah, great it's exercise. A it takes a lot of work, just a little stab, run, stab, yeah. run. So no, you... no, if you're out of shape, you can't stab. True, you can't do that. No, no, you gotta boom, and you gotta work on that, like the chest press, that <laughs> outward <laughs> movement. <laughs> Get it good. Oh man. That's terrifying though, that they were just like lurking in a random field. Like that's oh, yeah. where I expect a clown would be. Yeah. You know? That's like, I picture you fight a clown in a field like yeah. that, and you have like a katana, and he has a katana, and it starts <laughs> raining, and then oh, a man. single bolt of lightning goes, <laughs> Dun, yeah. dun, dun. And you fight the clown to the death. Or the clown. Yeah. Or the clown kills you. With that stamina. Yeah, because clown stamina. Do clowns naturally have good stamina, do you think? I don't know. I wouldn't you wouldn't think they'd be able to breathe with that. With all the stuff on. And like, yeah, it's a Maybe lot. that makes them better. Because they've been training with a closed nose all the time. <laughs> Maybe. Mm, yeah. I don't know. They're acrobatic at times, see Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. They yeah. do crazy stuff there. Yeah. yeah. Backflips? <laughs> <laughs> a clown just backflips with the knife. Dude, I believe it. Coming in at number nine, we have chasing students. Sometimes you'll be chilling at school, just waiting to try to learn something, and then a creepy clown shows up. Well, I don't think that this is that common that you're going to have a school assembly about it to talk about the dangers of creepy clowns, but it seems that the trend of people dressing up as clowns and stalking kids is starting to kick up again. The clowns don't even wait for the shroud of darkness anymore. They come right at you in the middle of the day to mess with you. That has to be some sort of crime against humanity. You're gonna chase me down first thing in the morning before I've even had my morning coffee like I'm trying to wake up and you're gonna pull something like this if that clown isn't careful I'm going to have to come to that campus and take him down faster than Joey Chestnut takes down 20 cheesy breadsticks And if you like Joey Chestnut, stick around, because we got lots more. We got so much more. Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. And check out this clip from Top 10 Central Vibe. Welcome back to Top 10 Central Vibe. I'm going to steal your thoughts. Coming in at number eight, we have... Oh, no, I got to put no, I got to put no, I got to put Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh my god. Imagine seeing that while you're driving down a dark road. Yeah, no thanks. So TikToker that goes by the name Dilly Lily posted a video of her and her friend driving down a dark road when they notice something. At first they aren't too sure what it is, but as they get closer, they realize it's a freaking clown coming at them. I mean, they handled it pretty well. If that was me driving the car, I would have panicked and hit the gas and probably end up running over the clown. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Like that clown got way too close to her car. She should have put the pedal to the metal and booked it out of there. Coming in at number seven, we have parking lot clown. I know I'm a YouTuber, so I gotta go get some footage, man. Okay, this is on Northwest Houston. Uh, 290 Hollister bingo area. This guy's driving around and guess what? He came across a creepy clown that was just sitting in a parking lot. Here's the thing, sometimes it looks like a clown is just minding their own business and that you should leave them alone. But I think even when a clown isn't up to anything sinister, they're still plotting so you can't just let them hang out. You never know what evil ploy they'll come up with. What are you doing? Oh shit, he saw me, he saw me. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. 
See why you can't trust these dudes? Because as soon as they get the opportunity to freak people out, they're gonna take it. We need like a clown alarm or something to warn people when these creepy dudes are hanging around. I feel like that would end up in like a witch hunt though. Maybe that's bad. Making our way down the list at number six, we have the forest clown. Bro, somebody's standing over there. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a clown? So for this video, a bunch of kids spotted a clown just lurking in a forested area. He was seen wandering around holding an umbrella. The kids stand and just watch and film the clown for quite some time. That's until the clown comes out from the forest and starts heading towards the kids. Then out of nowhere, the clown charges the kids and they run for their life. Run! Oh my god! Run! Oh my god! That's one way to ruin their childhoods. Coming in at number five, we have... <laughs> yeah. Sky, there's so much... You wanna go fishing with me? Wrong. I don't wanna go fishing with you. Absolutely not. He does have Never. Skittles, though. He has Skittles? He has Skittles. That's what's in the bag of Skittles. Oh. And he's throwing the Skittles into the water. For one, where does a clown get a kayak? When do clowns start kayaking? They're into like... True, that's impressive. Gonna see a bunch of clowns in Patagonia sweaters? Like, <laughs> I bet there's more than one clown. Oh, for there. sure. Absolutely. <laughs> I feel like clowns and water never need to combine with no. each other. No. Oh, can you imagine that emerging out of water? Mm. No, thank you. Not into it. I think Not I could hold all. my breath longer than a clown, though. Maybe. Yeah, so I think if we get into it... But again... It, Clown stamina. Clown stamina. Who Damn knows? It. You don't want to, and that's, see, you don't want to be in that situation against the clown, because you're going to try and out paddle him, but he's going to straight up be like, no, trust me, I'm better at this than you. Yeah, true. He's going to outrun you on, have you ever seen that video? I don't know if it's a video, but did you hear the story about the tiger in India? There's like four dudes in a canoe, and the tiger kept, like, <gasps> swam out, grabbed one dude, pulled him in the water, killed that's him. Insane. Like, took him line, killed him, and did one by one, killed <gasps> every single dude. One by one. Yeah, that's yeah. Intense. The tiger just murked everybody. That's what a clown will do to you. Well, I like Skittles, but I don't like Not that much. So. Yeah, not that much. Not that much. No thank you. And at number four, we have the GoPro clown. So this next clown was captured on someone's GoPro. They were out biking or skateboarding in their neighborhood and then decided to go down a path in a ravine. But then he spots a clown just standing there in the forest watching him. Once he spots the clown, it proceeds to chase him out of the ravine. And you could see the biker pick up his pace and get out of there so fast. I mean, it's a good thing that they did. Like, who knows what that clown was doing there? Probably bearing someone that they just murdered. So. Coming in at number three, we have the horn. Now for this next one, I kind of have mixed emotions. There's these group of kids that are chilling, walking along a road that's going through a field. That's some pretty standard stuff for kids who are brought up in the suburbs. And while all these kids are adventuring out in this suburban wilderness, they run into this. First, we're gonna go investigate. Oh, okay, Delaney, I know you're scared, but back off. Shh, shh, you guys be quiet. <gasps> Yo, what the f what are you doing? And now I get that running into a clown in the wild might be scarier than running into a bear or a cougar or anything like that, but there's like five of them. This is your opportunity to attack the clown and send it back to all its clown buddies beat up so they learn that they cannot come back and attack us anymore, or we will beat the hell out of them. Either that or you gotta trip one of your friends. Once the clown has one person, it will take them back to its clown lair and feed off their body until it devours the whole thing. This will give everyone else enough time to get away and see another day. Remember, the number one rule when you're running away from something that's trying to kill you and you're in a group, you don't have to be the fastest, you just don't have to be the slowest. Coming in at number two, we have... Oh, not liking this at all. He's long. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Here's a little, like, clink. Yeah, just... That was so, like... Dude. Gave him a slap, dude. Wow. That clown, he's, that's a long that's dude. That's a tall clown. Dude, that, we're gonna see that guy doing like windmill dunks in the NBA scene. <laughs> with that, look, look at how much lank he's got oh going on. Oh my god. Those kids were, and cause he's further away from the camera than they are, yeah. and he's still like he's a still foot and a half tall. taller. Yeah, the guy had to reach up to slap him. Yeah. He's and tall. Took that slap. He wow. shouldn't have backed up though. As a clown, you can never show fear. <laughs> once you show fear, people will rip you limb from limb. But still, I love how they all run inside, like, safe, and then they're like, wait. One dude's like, go, never get mind. Get it. <laughs> get it. What are you going to do, come to my house? Mm. Get it. Dude, straight. Do like that a lot. Enjoy it. Coming in at the number one spot, guys, we have this clip right here. Dude, 
Tiens, il est pas là, tu peux recule, 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 Revs a chainsaw. Revs a chainsaw. And they're just like, yeah, adios. They're oh. like, we're not gonna wait and find out what this chainsaw no. dude has to say. Oh no. my god. They're screaming in French too. I love it. Is it French? That's what that was French. Oh. Yeah, Did yeah, you yeah. understand what they were saying? Uh, yeah, but I can't repeat it because it's vulgar. Are you fluid? I'm not fluid, but I know what p means. Oh, well, I know what that means too. Okay, well, that's but. what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, dude, I always thought a chainsaw, I always thought a funny joke would be to walk into like a crowded place and then bring like a guitar case and like open it up and set up like you're gonna start playing the guitar and like put on like a weird mask and then like a plastic apron and then pull out a chainsaw and just start chasing people. That'd How be, is that funny? That's a hilarious That's horrifying. Prank. That's don't, such a good prank. Don't get any ideas from Chase. <laughs> Please like, do not do that. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. And you're like putting your stuff on and then you just like <laughs> just run around and chase no. people. <laughs> I think it's a good prank, guys. No. Let us know in the comments if you think that's a good prank. It's not a good prank. It's gonna I mean, end so bad. It's a good prank. Things bring a prank. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well. Alright guys, well that has been our list. Now we're gonna answer some comments from our previous video, top 10 dark last photos of celebrities. <gasps> Ah. The gasp, the gasp is key. <gasps> Brian Kelly commented, Landon, is this real life right now? Me. Or is this just a fantasy? Caught in a Landon slide. <laughs> I pretty love good. that. That is actually hilarious. That is pretty good. I will give it to Ryan on this one. That is yeah. clever. Good, good job, pun. Ryan. That good was pun. very clever. Yes. She's my horrible singing, but that's hilarious. <laughs> Susie O'Hanlon commented, I absolutely love Che's clothes. Definitely something I'd wear too. Hey, if it's comfortable and you feel confident, do it. That's how I live my life for me. Comfortable and confident always. That's, do was, you know what you were wearing? You guys were in a Halloween costume <laughs> in that video. <laughs> it was your Halloween costume. Yeah. And everyone was like, Che, I'm digging the new look. Like yeah, the, with love that. it, love it. <laughs> Honestly, maybe that's gotta be my fit. Maybe it I gotta be. go with that. It was, it honestly, it wasn't bad. It the glasses comfy. were a bit much. I don't know if I would wear glasses but like that. they thought the whole thing was just your just everyday getup. They're like, this is how he dresses now. <laughs> Dude, I exclusively own t-shirts. That's it. <laughs> this sweater, this is a once in a lifetime thing that's going on right here. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ayan Hassan commented, I know this is irrelevant, but I just ate the best orange ever. I, I like that information. I was gonna say, Eamon, did you did you comment this? Yeah, if it was actually Eamon, yeah. If <laughs> she just did, like changed her name a little. Uh, they won't know it's me, Ayan Hassan. <laughs> Gotta get in here with this orange information. When we were picking comments, I almost picked the same one. Really? Yeah, because I was like, that's hilarious. It's hilarious, so, right? I love it. Do you remember the chocolate orange thing that you would say? Terry's chocolate orange. Terry, sponsor me, I love it so much. Please. <laughs> the, you just like smack it and then it's like the slices? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, somebody send this to Terry. Terry, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> Mask Memer commented, damn Lindsay looking sharp. She going on a date. Again, I was in my Halloween costume. <laughs> Your costume was just kind of a fit though. Was it Sandy from Greece? Was it that one? Was that, was that the one? Wait, did I think you might have been. On? You had, I think you just had long curly hair. Oh, jeez. Oh, we still have the headphones on. Oh, oops. <laughs> just, Let's take them off. Here. I just smacked it and I was like, oh, yeah, that's uh, still in my ear. Uh, <laughs> no, but it was like a good fit. Oh. It was just a good fit. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Somebody said I look like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. That's who they. I don't were. think so. Thank you. But that's <laughs> what they thought my. She's got that like slicked back, like oh. full on, uh, I don't know, a Evil polite way to say it. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, do I really? No. No, absolutely not. Uh, Bolt the Husky and Strike the Wolf Dragon wrote in and said, I miss the old Willy Wonka RIP Gene. Yeah, Gene Wilder was a legend and old Willy Wonka was pretty solid. Was the best. Was Honestly, the best. it was, it's such a good movie. Did you hear that The Rock might play the next uh, Willy Wonka? I would love that. Okay, I would love that, but I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't imagine it. He's just, just too big to be Willy Wonka, just you know? Him he's just too... swole, and the kids like drink from the fountain, and he's like, that's 25% DECA anabolic steroids, and they're just like, all the kids get jacked. Oh my god. Like, everyone, all the, all what the little, the, the little oopa the loopas, just like, everyone oh just god. swole. What if they're like little versions of him, yeah. just like Dwayne yeah. the Rock is the Oompa Loompas just I walking love, by. I, I love, love that. Okay, maybe we need that. We do need it. Yeah. Little Crito wrote it and said, we are are legends, which is just great. I like how he includes himself in the whole ah, thing. It's like yes. we, we as, all of us, all of us, legends. You, forever. me, and 
Who was it? What was his name? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember, even though he's a legend. But he's a legend. Little, Little Credo. Credo. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. <laughs> um, Archie Brooke wrote in and said, You say loads of people, but I don't know most of these people. Hey, man, it's not my fault you don't know. Well, the people on the list? Yeah, the people who were on the list of, oh, of, he... of celebrities. That was They're last pretty year. well known. Yeah, Gene Wilder's like really well known. Who else was on that list? I, I don't remember. know. This person. Marilyn Monroe. Mar did yeah. you do Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe. I did John Lennon. Yeah, so it's like... People don't know who John Lennon is? Yeah, I don't know. If you don't know, that's a... I don't know, that's a you problem. That's a you problem, not a us problem. I curiously wrote in and said, I'm sensing someone is about to achieve world peace and sell marijuana. And I wonder who they were talking about. Let <laughs> me get a picture from the last one. Yeah. <laughs> who do you think it was? Was it me, Ursula, or... <laughs> Or whoever my my new fit. Jay's <laughs> new everyday outfit. He will wear it in every single video from now on. I like the idea though that I have found a way to achieve world peace, but I also sell weed on the side. Yeah. On the well, side. that's why you're so peaceful. Yeah, because I'm like here. Just, like... Cannabis solves all the problems, guys. All the problems. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that has been our video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. <laughs> and I've been Jay Arena. I'll see you when I see you. Bye, guys. <laughs> notification bell. Oh. <laughs> if that clown isn't careful, if that clown isn't careful, I'm gonna have to come to that camp campus. If that clown isn't careful, I'm Okay. Should we end it with like? <laughs> <laughs> Should we do it? Yeah, Should we both do it? What, what do we do? We just go. Just go like this. Go. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so TikToker that goes by the named name name named. So TikToker TikToker. We are now at our sixth and halfway. Oh, what am I even saying? This is not sixth and halfway mark. Whoa. Sorry, okay. This is me, right? Yeah, okay, you picked good. it. <laughs> I was like, do we use the same clip? No, I haven't seen this, that's why I'm laughing. Okay. Okay. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm ghost. 38 seconds to 41 seconds. True. True. True day. <laughs> is this number two? I have no solutions. I don't think you get COVID through the ears. You can't through the eyes, though. Yeah, I know that. Um. um oh! Oh! Okay, um... <laughs>